and hopefully this is not foreshadowing things to come but looks like they got a tow truck and they're gonna be all right Ooh, some pretty hard braking there it's already saying the right door camera isn't looking too good and that's not good and it's back and instantly changing lanes whoa parking sensors may be obstructed i have never seen that message oh man we got to take over immediately what is going on everybody welcome back to tesla challenge this is episode 17 and it is the second time we are doing a tesla challenge in the snow this is a different route than last time I am heading home, it's rush hour, but there's like no cars here. I guess the light was just green. So last time I did this in the snow, uh, I did a couple things wrong, honestly, and I had some complaints because I gave Autopilot an F. I thought it did an absolutely terrible job. Um, but part of it was my fault because in the snow, there's a couple things you're supposed to do to get ready. And one of those is put a hydrophobic coating on the front of the car to keep the radar from getting snow on it. And last time I didn't do that, the radar got snow on it, and then I lost all autopilot, all cruise control and everything, and so I couldn't even use autopilot anymore. Well, this morning, uh, I did put the Neverwet on. It's supposed to be on for about 12 hours. It's been on there maybe 10 hours or so. Close enough, it should be good. Uh, one thing I've noticed though is that I thought you were just supposed to put it on once per season, and then you had to do something special to take it off, but mine's just been coming off. Um, so I don't know, that's kind of strange, but whatever I reapplied it, it only takes a few minutes to do that. At the end of this drive, I will give autopilot my grade, how I think it did. You can also grade autopilot, so make sure you watch the entire video and grade at the end. There will be an I in the top right, and you can click that and you can give your grade. Here is how autopilot did in the last challenge, and I'll also show you how it did in the snow. This is uh, how everybody graded it. The last challenge, it did amazing. It was perfect. The snow challenge though, uh, was not so good. I gave it an F and I think most people weren't very happy with it. If you wanna know more about Autopilot, I'll put a link in the top right of this video for you to check out. I also wanna give a shout out to Paul, my newest patron. Thank you so much, Paul. Okay, so we're getting on the highway here. I'm gonna turn Autopilot on. Once I do that, I am not gonna do anything. The car's gonna do it all and I will not intervene unless I have to for safety. So autopilot's on. Another thing I did last time is, um, I think my settings were a little bit aggressive. So I'm gonna have 75 as the max speed today. Last time it was 78. I'm gonna have a following distance of, I think three will be pretty good. That's farther than I normally, let's do four. I'll do a following distance of four to make sure everything is safe here. Um, and that should be good. I did make sure all my Oh geez, uh, navigate on autopilot isn't even on. I did make sure all of my cameras were clean before I started this and it's already saying the right door camera isn't looking too good and that's not good. So I still haven't done anything here. The car is a little confused already with uh, not being able to see the lines, uh, but all right, it finally figured it out and it's gotten into this line here. Well, if that uh, camera doesn't get unblocked, we're not gonna have a very good time here. Uh, but I will do my best to let autopilot do everything. So let's see how it handles it. All right, so so far the roads are looking really good. You can see it's a pretty light snow. It was a lot heavier earlier and I thought the roads were gonna be a mess. Um, but the car's going pretty slow here. I don't know why. And you can see why I don't like following distances much more than two. It just leaves this huge gap in front of you. And I don't know if you can really tell in the video, but a gap like this, people are just gonna constantly be cutting in front of me. Um, but we'll see, you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. People will be polite. I just am really hoping that the pillar camera gets unblocked. I mean, I, like I said, I cleaned all the cameras before I got in the car and uh, okay, pretty good uh, cut in there. That was fine. Uh, the car didn't detect them until you know, a little bit, but you can even see like the rear camera is kind of fogging up there, um, which is no good. And also the wipers are on auto and I'm not gonna interfere with that as well. I'll let the car handle all that. Again, as long as it's safe. Ooh, some pretty hard braking there. Uh, no sliding or anything. And, you know, again, that's why just this big gap, people get in front of you and then they hit their brakes, which is just, it's just the worst. And I cannot believe, okay, there it is. I was just gonna say, I can't believe we haven't had the wipers go off yet. I've actually really been enjoying the wipers since uh, the new update, uh, the neural uh, deep rain neural net, 
Uh, it's been working really well for me, but not really demonstrating that here. All right, so I'm gonna up our speed back to 75. It's in, in some recent update, they made it so when you go through an interchange, it puts it back down to your preset, which is really annoying. It didn't used to do that. Uh, so you can see the rear camera is like not looking very good. Uh, that's getting uh, more water on it as we go. Now, Elon did tweet out about uh, putting a hydrophobic coating over to keep snow off of them, but um, he tweeted that like yesterday. So I haven't had time uh, to do that yet or buy anything. And, you know, he didn't say, uh, give any examples and I'm not sure what to buy yet. Um, I was going to do some reading and maybe ask some people on Twitter and, and kind of test them out. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of the best ones to put on the cameras. All right, Navigate on Autopilot is back. I'm so excited. I'm going to guess, I don't know because I didn't see the camera, but I'm going to guess that that was fog in the camera housing and that's why I said I cleaned it, which I did, and that's why it cleared up. If it was really covered in snow and water, it's not just going to magically come back. Um, so, oh, and it's gone again. But that's so funny. It was there long enough for the car to make a lane change. Uh, sorry, I want to see how this... Okay, we're going to slam on the brakes to let them in. <laughs> Alrighty, that's not technically the right move, but that's all right. Um, it worked out and it, you could see it tracked them for a while. Um, so it's pretty good. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So some pretty hard braking there and I would love to get out of this lane because it's getting really slow, but uh, nav on autopilot keeps turning on and off. So hopefully that will come back on and stay on. Navigan on autopilot currently unavailable. Yeah. But um, I don't know if it yeah, so now it's just a generic message. Oh no, it's the same. Right door pillar blocked. And it's back and instantly changing lanes. So it's pretty interesting. It shows us that even when nav on AP isn't on, the car is thinking, it's like, I want to do a lane change. Why are you not letting me? You know, why is this feature not enabled right now? Because the second it came back on, boom, the car is making that lane change. So you got a salt truck there. If you are not from the northern states or a state that does salt, that's how it gets put on the road. And it actually looks like our backup camera is like improving, so that's cool. I don't know how or why, but it definitely is. Overall, the car so far is doing really well. Um, now that our door pillar is looking good, we do keep getting the message here and there for a second. Um, but at the end of the video, I'll get out and check them out so we can see what the cameras are looking like and what the radar looks like. Um, the biggest negative right now is the windshield and I can of course still see or I wouldn't, you know, be sitting here like this. Um, but I'm just surprised it's not wiping like <laughs> almost ever. Um, and the car seems to not mind. Uh, it's still able to drive fine. Um, if the cameras up here get too blocked, then it'll also disable and give you an error message here. Um, and then the rear camera is looking pretty good. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy with this. And I am, overall, I am appreciating the, uh, our following distance here. Um, I'm not really getting cut off too much, which I'm liking. And when I see those brake lights ahead, it does make me feel pretty good. So you can see here the car is getting a bit confused. Um, you can see the snow in the middle where nobody's driving. It's just a continuous line. And the car is kind of switching between dash lines and a solid line um, because that snow is, is confusing it. So we do have a lane change here. Uh, oh, into faster lane, that's interesting. Um, so that's a pretty good choice, I guess. Um, the car always changes to this lane anyway uh, to follow route, which doesn't really need to do. <laughs> That's funny. So it goes into the faster lane and then doesn't allow itself to go too fast because these guys are going slower. And I actually love that. We didn't have like this big hard acceleration just to have to slow down again. We had a nice steady acceleration uh, and it kind of brought us up to speed with the cars up here. Uh, so that's, that's really good. That's a huge improvement. Whoa, parking sensors may be obstructed. I have never seen that message. Clean sensors to ensure proper installation. 
Installation? What? <laughs> Proper installation of your car into the parking spot. I, that's a weird message. Okay, so we're speeding up slightly, but again, uh, this adjacent lane speed, if you're not familiar, uh, the Tesla will not allow itself to go too fast, and it's actually screwing up right now. I think, okay, that ended up working out because of this guy, but it was slowing itself way down for these adjacent cars. So it will speed match to the lanes next to you so it doesn't go too fast uh, next to slower traffic. Oh man, we got to take over immediately for no reason. Oh my gosh. And I was moving my phone over. I was not expecting that. Uh, we have no cruise control. Okay, that's no good. I'm gonna do a cleaning. Let's do a full windshield cleaning here and hopefully we get it back. That definitely surprised me. I was not expecting that at all. Still nothing. Yeah, we didn't get any specific message as to why that happened. Okay, so I'm still driving. There's no blue steering wheel here. There's not even the option. I try to turn it, it just says cruise control unavailable. Reduced front radar? Come on. That's why I put the never wet on there. Man, that's pretty annoying. Um, I think it will come back because there's not that much snow even. That's really annoying. Well, if you don't know, just so you know, when that red warning comes up and it screams at you, it is still steering. It doesn't just like throw control away. Um, it does continue steering the car until it feels that you have d done something to the wheel, either turned it or touched it or something. Or if you, I think if you hit the accelerator as well, it'll then uh, give over control. But um, man, I'm really disappointed because, you know, I did the right things this time. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, so I'm trying a screen reset, and you can use autopilot when you're resetting the car. And it still gives you a, a warning, which normally, in this state, sounds don't work, so I'm gonna put the turn signal on. So the turn signal's working, <clears throat> but uh, there's no turn signal sound. So that's crazy, it has must have some little backup speaker for, for those type of warnings. Very cool. All right, so we're done with the reset. I didn't think it would do anything, but I hoped. Uh, yeah, still reduced front radar, still the same error message. And we're just about done here, so that's no fun. All right, well, here we are taking our exit. Uh, autopilot is still not there, even after resetting the screen. Uh, if I try, you get cruise control unavailable, reduced front radar. So that is really disappointing. I was, I was pretty excited with this one. Um, I was having a great time, and and I had a really good grade in mind, but unfortunately, it's gonna have to be an F on this one. How could it be anything better than that? Uh, total failure. I did my part of uh, covering the front radar and, and I did extra um, of the never wet so that I, I made sure I didn't miss it. I mean, I did like almost half of my front bumper. So when I get home, I'll get out of the car and I'll record what I find. Um, so wait for that part. Um, but that's the end of this challenge. I give it an F, make sure you grade it. I don't know who's gonna grade it much better than that, unfortunately. Um, but uh, we'll see when we get out of the car what it looks like. Um, and I gotta hurry because baby is waiting for me. I told you she's huge, 91st percentile. And this huge baby's gotta eat. So this video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything on their entire website. Link is in the description. All right, here we are. Let's make this quick. Baby is waiting. This camera looking great. This camera looking great. We, didn't, we did not get any errors from those. Here's the radar. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? This is, that's it. There's like nothing on there. And you can see, oh, headlights turned off nicely for me. You can see, uh, you know, there is some snow on there. Oh yeah, it like froze all on here. Yeah, that's, you know what? And I put that never went on this morning. Um, and if I do this, it's just like it's not even there. I put it um, all from here all the way to there, pretty much. And I avoided this ultrasonic sensor right there. Um, but yeah, all of this slush, I mean, it's not a very thick amount. You can see there, that's it. Um, but that completely blocked the radar. The radar is somewhere, 
sorry, the radar is somewhere around here. So it's completely blocked and I did try to use um, the cruise control right before I got out of the car and it didn't work. You can see my mud flaps, my snow flaps are doing good. Uh, this camera is looking perfect. And this camera has a little bit of snow on it, so I can see why it's complaining. I, I, You know what? I would bet maybe the wind was coming from that direction. Oh, yeah, and that's all frozen on there. So this is like ice. It's like wet ice. So that must be why I was complaining. So that's all. Um, that kind of sucks. I don't know. I don't know. I put that stuff on there, and it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Uh, I'm going to put it on again, and hopefully it'll do a better job. I did three coats, like Tesla says. I'm really not sure. So, uh, all right, I hope you enjoyed this one. Comment down below, let me know what you think, and you will see my car in the next video.